okay guys so now we have first recovery scenario and it is like a recovering of the parameter file let's take you have a loss of parameter file in your environment how do you recover it remember this recovery process is only when we have hot database backup we did not even get into the Armand backup right so initially we have already taken hot database backup for our database now with that hot database backup we will be performing all these recovery scenarios so the first scenario that we have is recovering through loss of parameter file let us assume we lost the parameter file how do we recover our database manually when we have a hot database backup not the Armand backup we are not even into the Armand now we are logged into our Linux machine. Let us go to the hot backup location. We have our hot backup in this location. Let me increase the font size. So keep it as 14. Okay. Let us get inside hot backup fine so what I'm doing is I'm deleting all these files or probably I'll make a new directory mkdir new hot backup and let us get inside this directory right we have our new hot backup location let us perform hot backup of our database before performing any type of recovery we already have the hot backup but let us take a new hot backup of the database so we'll switch to oracle user connect to sql plus slash versus dba how do we perform the hot backup first of all list all the control files select name from v dollar control file select name from v dollar data file next is we have to put the database in begin backup mode alter database begin backup now exit we have to copy all these files to our backup location we are performing a manual copy via cp command and what is our backup location new hot backup okay this location we created using root user so we have to give the ownership to oracle user then only we'll be able to copy the files now cd dot dot ls hyphen lrt you see this directory has been created via root user ch own hyphen r oracle o install this location fine now oracle user is the owner so we'll be able to take the backup we'll switch back to oracle user and i'll just copy the cp command once again All the control files, data files are being copied. Fine. Now connect to the database and put the database in N backup mode. Alter database N backup. Once you end the backup mode, always switch the log file and take the backup of the archive log also. So alter system switch log file next is archive log list you have to go to this location okay so we have to go to this TBS location all the archives are being generated over here now can you see this is the archive which is generated just now what we can do is we can take the backup of last two archives or the last archive would also do 
So just copy these archive logs, this one, this one, to our backup location. What is our backup location? User to TB backup, new hot backup. Copied. Great. And also, it is a good practice to take the backup of your SP file. So I'm copying the SP file to backup location. Fine, our hot backup is completed. Now let us start with our P file recovery scenario. When you try to recover your parameter file, there are two scenarios. When you have parameter file backup and when you do not have parameter file backup. Again, there is a third scenario when you do not have parameter file backup in 11G. Okay, so totally there are three scenarios. This scenario when you do not have parameter file backup, this would apply for versions before 11G and in 11G there is a special way that you can recover your parameter file in case you don't have a parameter file backup. Let us start each scenario one by one. Scenario one, when you have parameter file backup, currently we have taken the backup of the parameter file, right? Let us simulate a failure. Delete the parameter files, both P file and SP file while database is up and running. Let us do that. Now, first of all, we'll confirm whether our database is perfectly up and running or not. This DBA, sorry, SQL plus slash SS DBA. Now select name comma open underscore mode from v dollar database. Our database is perfectly up and running. Now our goal is to delete the parameter files while the database is up and running. We'll go to oracle underscore home slash dbs ls hyphen lrt. Now we can see that we only have sp file for this database. We don't have a P file. What we'll do is we'll just remove this SP file directly rm hyphen rf. We are assuming you lost the parameter file or this disk got corrupted or some junior DBA removed the parameter file. Your database is still up and running but again you lost the parameter file. What's the next step? Now what we have to do is we have to shut down the DB and start it up. If you try to do this, your DB will throw the below error saying that could not open the parameter file. Whatever your parameter file is, whether it is P file or SP file, it will just throw an error. But the question is, once somebody removes the parameter file from your system, will it impact your database which is up and running? Let us see, scale plus slash assist dba select name comma open underscore mode from v dollar database it's working fine now let me create table test one as select star from scott dot emp table creation is also working fine i can even create user xyz identified by XYZ it is also working fine then what is the impact of parameter file remember parameter file is only used to allocate the memory in the physical RAM when you start your database it will help set the parameters for your instances whatever your instance parameters are how much memory has to be allocated to SGA PGA and all those things are set by the parameter file but once you open your database, already instance has been created. Now those parameters will not affect your database. But if you shut down and start, definitely your database will complain that, boss, I don't know how much memory to allocate. So your database will throw an error. Let us look at that. Shut immediate. Now let us try to start up the database. Start up. You can see failure in processing system parameters could not open parameter file whatsoever it is. 
Great. Now, how do we recover through this error? Recovering parameter file. Exit from SQL Plus and go to backup location where you have parameter file backup. Yes, we have the parameter file backup under U02 DB backup. New hot backup. Over here we have the parameter file backup. What we have to do? Copy parameter file from the backup location to Oracle Home DBS location. Let us copy this file cpsp file to this location okay now check once again whether you have got your sp file under dbs location or not we can see we have the sp file great next connect to sql plus and start your database just connect to your sql plus says dba startup Great, our instance has been started. Okay, so select name comma open underscore mode from V dollar database. Great, we have recovered our parameter file when we had parameter file backup. Let us go to scenario two. When you do not have parameter file backup, what you should do? So let us try to simulate the failure once again and then we will go to the recovery scenario exit so let me clear the screen okay so once again we will be deleting the parameter files both p file and sp file while db is up and running let us check our db is up and running yes it is up and running we will go to the oracle home location dbs ls lrt i am directly removing the sp file we don't have p file in this case next what we have to do is if we shut down and start up the database we know what error we will get so how do we recover in such scenario let us try to shut down and start our database shut immediate great now start up we have the same error let us exit from SQL plus in such scenario when you do not have backup exit from SQL plus and go to alert log location of the database now we have to go to the alert log location of the database so in this scenario we did not check the alert log location so we have to find out the alert log location cd dot dot Diag, diag, diag. Where is diagnostic destination? CD diag. RDBMS. ProdDB. ProdDB. CD trace. Right. LS hyphen LRT. Alert. Yes, we have the alert log. Now, just tail hyphen 500, the alert log. Now, the question is, why are we checking the alert log and what we will get from the alert log? Remember, whenever you start your database, all the non-default parameters from your P file will be logged into the alert log. In simple terms, what you can do is just copy those non-default parameters to a notepad create a parameter file and then start your database your database will automatically come up let us search for those non default parameters we have to look at look at the time when you started your database last time okay this is the area can you see oracle database 11g enterprise edition this is where somebody was starting the database nothing but we try to start the database we have the Oracle home system name node name release version machine VM name and then over here you will find system parameters with non default values see the default values Oracle will automatically take but what is so special about non default parameters is these are the parameters which are set by a user or a DBA 
these are the minimum parameters which are needed for this instance to start. So copy all these non-default parameters to a notepad like this and then you can simply create a parameter file oracle underscore home slash dbs. I'm creating a p file because if you see all these parameters are human readable. These are not the not in binary format, right? If all the parameters are human readable, then you have to create a p file. You cannot create a sp file. That's why I'm creating a p file init prod db dot aura. Just copy paste all these parameters and save it, right? Now go to SQL plus type startup perfect our database has been started this means in case if you lose your parameter file what you can do is you can go to the alert log location you can find when the database was started last you can copy all those non default parameters to a notepad and then you can recreate a p file with which you can start your database this is one of the very simplest methods and this method applies to all the versions of the database even including 11g you can use it in 11g as well but in 11g we also have a special feature when you do not have a parameter file backup in 11g in case let's take from 11g onwards you can recreate parameter file in case the database is already up and running even if you lose the parameter file but database instance is still running we can recreate parameter file from memory you can just type this command create p file from memory or create sp file from memory